guys, welcome back. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be doing one of my most highly requested videos from you guys and that is sharing my self tan routine with you. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, you would know that naturally I have red hair and very, very, very fair skin. I feel like normally people that naturally have red hair have pretty fair skin as well and that is definitely me. I was covered in freckles when I was younger but I don't really have many freckles anymore which kind of stinks. I like my freckles but I do use self tanner to get a nice beachy bronzy glow that looks natural even though it's not a natural tan because I am always slapping in SPF 100 but I've used self tanner for a really 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 long time honestly I feel like ever since like eighth grade or so and I have had so many mishaps along the way okay I was straight Oompa Loompa I have had streaks and hand marks and everything all over me that were like crazy but I feel like I've really like gotten down a regimen I use the right products also self tanners have gotten so much better throughout the years like when I was younger it was like yeah I didn't know how to apply it but also the product itself like wasn't that good because self tanners were like not as prevalent as they are today and uh, some self tanners back in the day also smell Smelled really really bad and make you smell really really bad. Oh my god. Like I remember this one self tanner I'm not gonna put the brand on blast because it does still exist um, But my mom literally had to hide it from me because I would use it and she was like you smell horrible Like the self tanner is making you smell so bad because I guess like the chemical the way it interacted with my body or something It was just not it was not cute Um, and my mom literally had to hide the self tanner But I feel like I've gotten down a really really good regimen I can share with you guys the do's and don'ts so you don't have to go through the self tan woes that I had to go through Before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started alrighty so the self tanner that I use is from loving tan this should be no surprise I have used this for years and years and years shared it so many times on my channel shout out to loving tan for partnering with me for today's video but I have talked about their products a billion and one times uh, unsponsored on my channel so thanks loving tan for working with me today um, but this is my favorite self tanner by far again I have tried so 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 many throughout the years and I have never found one better than this so when we get into the application part I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I apply this it's a very very simple and I feel like a lot of people think that the application part is like the most important to make sure that like your self tan is going to come out well but that's really not the case I would say at least 75% of whether or not your tan is going to come out looking good is all in the preparation of your skin so I'm going to share with you guys everything I do before I actually even get to the step of applying the self tan because that's honestly in my opinion the most important so you don't have to self tan at night I do self tan at night and I honestly think it's much easier um, because tip number one you want to make sure that you completely shower off anything on your body before applying the self tan you don't want to have any barriers on your skin so you don't want to have deodorant you don't want to have body lotion oils anything like that that's all going to cause a barrier and it's going to cause a self tanner to not apply to your skin and not apply evenly so you definitely want to make sure you shower before which is why I typically do it at night you also definitely want to make sure that you shave before you self tan and you also need 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 I can't stress this enough to exfoliate that is like tip numero one those were like the first three tips in one a to shower b to shave and c plus 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 to exfoliate. My favorite exfoliator actually is from Loving Tan. This is what I use. You can tell it's dirty. It has stains on it. I can't believe I'm even showing this on camera. I literally just took it out of my shower. Um, but I just put it on my hand like this. It's like a little mitt and you just run this all over your body. It's like a little bit of a coarse texture, but it's not too bad. It's not going to hurt or anything like that, but this literally just gets everything off. So this is a really, really, really amazing exfoliator. They do sell exfoliating mitts at different stores as well, which probably work. I just always use that one. It's really, really good. And if you guys use code Kelly Strack on Loving Tan's website, you can actually get one of these for free with any purchase of their gradual tanner, their mousses, or their shimmers. So once you're out of the shower, you've showered everything off of your body, you've shaved, and you've exfoliated, you want to dry yourself, of course, because you don't want to apply the self tanner when your skin is still wet. And then you do want to moisturize only very specific areas that are overly dry on your skin. Because any area on your skin that's really dry is going to cling to the self tanner more than like the rest of your skin is. So you do want to apply a little bit of a barrier on those areas. So for me and for most people, that's going to be on your hands, it's going to be on your feet, a little bit on your knees, and on your little elbow area as well. You want to apply a little bit of some sort of moisture moisturizer or barrier between your skin and the self tan so those areas don't overly grab onto the self tanner. My favorite moisturizer that I actually use all the time, I have very very dry skin. If you don't have super dry skin you can probably use something lighter than this but this is the Ultra Repair Cream. This is from First Aid Beauty. I really like this. I normally slather this on my feet and on my hands because those get very dry. On my knees and on my elbows I just use like any sort of normal moisturizer. I don't need to use this. This is a little bit more intense. Again just because my skin does get pretty dry. Okay now into the actual application of this self tan which is honestly the easiest part I mean the product itself makes it very easy this is formulated very very well and it's like one of the easiest self tanners I've ever used to actually apply again I use the deluxe bronzing mousse in ultra dark it is not too dark I have people that message me all the time like I have 
really fair skin? Do you think ultra dark is too dark? I really don't think so. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. To me, it's just very natural. You want to use a mitt to make sure you get the most seamless application. This one is from Loving Tan. I love it. It's kind of like a velvet um, texture and it just applies it really, really evenly and seamlessly to your body. So you just put it on your hand, squeeze as many pumps as you think you may need. Normally I'll start with about three pumps and that can get me like most of my upper body and that's normally where I start my application. And you basically just move the mitt all around your body and spread out the product. As you can see, it does have a color guard in it. So it's already going to give you a nice natural looking tan right off the bat. The color guard will wash away when you do shower the next morning. So don't worry if the color guard doesn't look perfect. That's not the actual tan. It's really to just show you where you're applying the tan. So you can see exactly where the tan has been applied and where may still need some more tan. It applies super easily. You don't have to be super rough or anything with it. I normally will just spread it out in like circular motions. And I do focus most of the self tanner on like my chest and neck area. And then I'll work it down onto my arms and only a little bit on your hands. Again, since that is a drier area, it is going to cling to the product more. So you definitely need less on there than you would on the rest of your body. So I always just use a very little bit on my hands. And this self tanner just has a really light floral fragrance to it. So you're not going to smell weird. You're not going to smell like that classic, like self tanner like smell. I honestly can't even really smell the scent at all anymore. Like to me, it just smells like nothing, but it's very, very light. So don't worry about smelling weird or anything. You're not going to have that problem with Loving Dan. So honestly, like I said, that's the easiest step. It applies so easily all over the body. You can see exactly where you're doing it because of the color guard. And then I normally will only wait about 30 seconds before putting on pajamas or whatever I'm going to be wearing to go to bed. You can wait a little longer if you want, but this dries very, very quickly, which is great. Again, I do do it at night before I go to bed, but you could definitely do this in the morning too, before you go to work or whatever, if you have extra time, it's not going to leave you like super sticky or anything. Like honestly, if you just apply a moisturizer to your body, that's going to leave you more sticky than this product will. It really is just going to dry down after like 30 seconds to a minute to feel like there's really nothing on your body. So you could really do it at any time of the day. I just prefer to do it at night. So then I'll go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, the tan will be fully developed and I will shower. Now, when you shower, you're going to see like brown in the bottom of your shower because the color guard is coming off. So your tan is there to stay but that initial color guard that's in there. So you can see where you're applying the self tan is going to come off. So don't worry about that. After that comes off, nothing else is going to be coming off your body. It's waterproof. You can go in the pool, the ocean, you know, whatever you want to do. And it's not going to come off of your body. So I do this process once a week. So I do it every seven days. You can definitely get it up to about 10 days. If you use a moisturizer every day, the more moisturized your body is, the less the tan is going to come off. The product that I like to use is the deluxe gradual tan from loving tan. This is the dark one. They have a medium one as well, but I like to use the dark one. And again, you guys, like I can't stress to you enough. I know that I did partner with them on today's video, but these are genuinely the products that I use every single week. I love them. Like you can tell. This product has been well used, but I love these products. Like they are genuinely amazing. And this is really the moisturizer that I use. This does have a little tint to it as well, which you guys can see in here, but it's also going to help to maintain your tan. So it's kind of like a moisturizer and self tanner hybrid. You could use this too, instead of the mousse, if you wanted to get like a lighter, more natural tan, but I like to use this to maintain that tan. I'm going to use this moisturizer specifically in conjunction with the mousse. I can get up to about two weeks and I'll use this maybe like every two to three nights in between, like all over my body, just as a moisturizer to really help keep the tan on. And it's going to add a little bit more tan. They do actually though have a shimmer product as well which you could use if you want like something to amp up your legs or your arms or decollete or whatever for a night out which has like a bronzy tint to it and a shimmer and that will just come off completely once you shower it's not going to add like any lasting tan where this is actually going to add a lasting tan to you so it's kind of depends on what you want so that's basically how i maintain the tan i mean there are definitely things that are going to make your tan fade faster like if you're going in chlorine a lot in the summer like in a pool that's definitely going to make it fade faster and stuff like that but if you keep up with moisturizing your skin you can definitely get seven to ten days with the tan so yeah i mean that's basically my self tan routine like i said the most important part of the routine is the preparation of your skin prior and honestly how you take care of it after the actual applying of the product is very very easy because this product is really great um, and it's very easy to apply it's pretty foolproof um, like literally Stephen does my back most of the time and he has absolutely no idea what he's doing I'm like just slathered on there it's fine and it always looks fine um, and trust me he does not care so trust me if he can apply it it can come out even than anybody can it's really a very easy product to use and it's going to give you a really really natural color I know they have a very specific ingredient that actually helps to counteract with the orange tones so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so, so much. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.